global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Daniel Kocha, the ABC chairman in River State, has dead Governor Fubara over his trade to investigate the activities of governance during Wiki's administration. And this time around, he's not hiding his blow. He's telling him to be the first to cast the stone. Let's look at the full details of what he has to tell um, Fubara right now. According to the news, Tony Okocha, arrowhead of the position in River State, has again the governor Sim Fubara to throw the first stone in his threat to probe ex-governor yes on weekend okocha ketika committee chairman of the all progressive congress apc reminded fubara that he goes to equity he that goes to equity must go with clean hands implying that whatever we get did was done in collusion with fubara who was then the accountant general of the state and head of cash movement Ogocha, seen as weakest vice grip of the APC in the state, addressed a press briefing in Port Harcourt on Tuesday, June 4, 2024, where he said it was not true that Wiki was now quiet since proof was mentioned. He said that no public office holder should think he would not face probe after office. He said the governor should first drop his immunity before starting a probe because if we can mention him as a witness, the law may not allow him to appear because of immunity clause. He also laughed off the probe talk, saying Fubara was yet to vacate the court order that prevented state governors and former governors of the state from being probed. He also said it was obvious Fubara was targeting Wike as he said Chip Wike wrote to me Amechi targeted his predecessor Peter Odilewa Wike targeted Amechi. According to him, he says, you know the governors passed something to the pro panel and their target must be found guilty. Will Fubara be different from Wike? Repeating his zero scorecard of Fubara in 365 days, Okocha, who had been calling the governor's impeachment since March 2024, said the governor's huge project amounted to zero so long as the budget from which he spent is considered illegitimate for not being table before they defected members of the River State House of Assembly. He did Fubara or his handlers to show one project he initiated, supervised, and commissioned. He insisted that all projects commissioned by Fubara were weakest. His anger being that Fubara did not credit Wiki as initiator, he called it project plagiarism. According to him, he says, if any media man or government official can show the world any single project Fubara started and finished in his first year, I would apologize to him and congratulate him for his one year in office. When Ele Lewong Ebubu Eleme wrote of about four six point four billion naira was mentioned, Okocha claimed it was conceived by Wiki and that after commissioning by Fubara, the rain came and washed it away. He also claimed that all the mega roads amounting to 501.2 billion Naira Transcalabari, PH Ring Road, Omoku, Egbeda, Elele Road were all started by Wiki, so Fubara has no right to claim them as his project. He however admitted that there was nothing wrong in continuity or completing inherited projects. So long, so long as the governor would credit the previous administration, he did not accept that Fubara inherited debt on Project 2, which amounted to 222 billion naira. Saying such claim just read ugly head. He said Fubara was making big money, such as 27 billion naira per month from internally generated revenue and much more from the federation account saying paying paying pension or promoting workers were no achievement okocha who could not claim that the defected lawmakers were his apc member now as he used as he had claimed openly said only membership card and names in a party's register would prove the party the one belong 
the one they belong, thus leading, lending cre credence that the APC has permitted the defected lawmakers back to the People's Democratic Party. He said it was a lie from the pit of hell to say he has fallen out with Wiki and has congratulated Fubara. How can I, as a Okocha, as a person or as leader of APC, ever congratulate such a governor? He said he has issued a statement denying such fake news wow this is getting really interesting a lot of funny things in that statement if you had followed me up and uh, you know it points to one direction that fubara has still a lot to face in the nearest future you know oftentimes he's been talking about that the battle is over the war is over but i think from some of the hints that uh, tony kocha has dropped clearly shows that wiki is just retreating to fight really good again if you listen carefully he talked about the issue of the 27 lawmakers that uh, they are no more members of APC, which means that already there's a ground on ground on ground to disassociate themselves with uh, PDP with those defected guys, defected lawmakers, so that they can get back their position as you know uh, lawmakers under PDP. And if that happens, it therefore means that Fubara will be out of the seat. You know this is going to be a very serious issue and must be given ardent attention. If not, this may result to Fubara being kicked out of office. Don't forget that those guys are 25 in numbers, and which means they can stand their ground and kick out the governor as at when they feel like doing it. So I, I think that's where the whole the next line of fight is going to come from did these guys properly they come from pdp are they still in pdp are they not in pdp that's uh, the whole thing where it will revolve and i i, I think that uh, the governor sorry the uh, national chairman and also the state chairman has a lot of rule to play there don't forget that wiki has so much control over the current national chairman of uh, PDP, and if he pushes hard to ensure that uh, they, 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 they pretend as if they did not know those guys defected and accept them back, it means that the future is very bleak for the person of Fubara. But be that as it may, let's just look at some of the reactions of Nigerians in respect to that because a lot of people are talking. Someone here says Okocha's big mouth has leaked out what C Wiki has in his sleeves for Fubara. Another person here speaking say Fubara must be careful. If not, the office he may not stay there more than two years. Another person here says uh, Tony Okocha is a man that cannot be trusted. He knows how to die from one end to the other. But from all indication, it means that the end of the battle was fake. There is future battles to be fought by Fubara. I said, Fubara must not look at wicked silence as quietness. They could possibly be, be some underlying movement. A lot of underground movement is going on. Though uh, Fubara has been able to get the support of virtually all and sundry in River State, especially political stakeholders, most of them are working with him. But that should not give him the confidence that he has come to stay forever because if the 27 lawmakers come back i'm telling you the future is not so certain or his position it cannot be predicted because they can make a particular dangerous move that will end everything about him don't forget that the uh, lawmakers that he presented that uh, um, budget before uh, they came out and said that that was illegitimate and even the president said they should represent the budget. So right now, so much is in the pipeline and let's wait to see what the future will look like.